Hey peeps, we are back. We are talking what would the peeps do? And this is called Homemade. Hey, before we get into the video, please do me the honors of subscribing to my channel, hitting the notification bell so you can always be notified when I post new content, hitting the thumbs up because that does wonders for my channel, and share. Thanks. This lady would like to know if she is an ass. She says, I'm 27 and I'm not a professional chef, but I have taken a bunch of cooking classes and I love making elaborate meals for my friends and family. About two years ago, my brother Greg, who is 25, married a lady named Cheryl, who is 34. Cheryl has a daughter from a previous relationship, Becca, who is nine, who has several health conditions, including celiac and a severe dairy allergy that requires her to carry an EpiPen. Last weekend, I hosted a dinner at my house for my parents' wedding anniversary. I made a fancy five-course dinner, and in addition to my parents, I also invited four close family friends, plus Greg, Cheryl, and Becca. My sister and her boyfriend came along with their twin boys, who are eight. Because of Becca's food restrictions, I found a restaurant in town that specializes in gluten-free, dairy-free, as well as other allergen-free foods. And I arranged for them to make a full meal for Becca that I could pick up in advance of the party. I have made a variety of specialty meals in the past, for example, keto meals, when my friends are following that diet. And I like the challenge, but knowing how serious Becca's restrictions were, I didn't trust myself to make her meal. I have ADHD and I get easily distracted and if I even use the wrong spoon or didn't completely wash some flour off of a bowl, it could make her incredibly sick. I thought the takeout solution was fine, but when I served the food, I saw Cheryl looking at Becca's plate with a stony face. For her part, Becca started eating and seemed fine. Cheryl whispered to Greg and Greg asked if he could talk to me in the kitchen. When I got in there, he said that it was unbelievable that I couldn't bother to make something for Becca, that they'd been bragging about what a great cook I was to her and that they just knew that I had made keto and vegan before and other complicated kinds of food in the past and now she would feel left out because she didn't get to eat what the rest of the family was eating. He said that it was obvious that I didn't care about making his stepdaughter feel like she was part of the family and that they were leaving. Greg and Cheryl and Becca left, which put a real damper on the rest of the party. I felt like I did the best at the time, but in hindsight, I wonder if I should have tried harder to make Becca feel included, since she is relatively a new addition to our family. Honey, now listen, this lady is not an ass to me. Um, who I think is an ass is Cheryl and her husband, Greg. That's bullshit. This girl has a serious health problem. She has dietary restrictions. I don't blame this lady for being nervous and concerned that she might make something and it, you know, cause this little girl to have some sort of attack. I mean, I don't want her to feel like she's not a part of the family, but at the same time, I don't want to make you sick. And then on top of all that, she put in the extra effort to find a restaurant that caters to all different health restrictions to get something for her. I wouldn't stress myself out about this at all. As a matter of fact, I would tell Cheryl and Greg the hell off and I would have shown them to the door. This lady says that she went on for the next couple of days and cried her eyes out because she thought that she had done something wrong. She didn't do anything wrong. I think it was the really best thing she could have done was to order this girl a special meal. I don't know, my son never had any food allergies, but I would think as a parent, if my child did, I would be so happy to find out you cared enough to order something special for my kid to make sure my baby didn't get sick. I wouldn't scream and yell at you because you didn't make a special dietary meal for the entire family to eat because of one person. Especially since you were celebrating your parents' anniversary. Why should everybody have to eat this special diet? She ordered something special, including chocolate cake for Becca. I don't know. Am I being an ass? And you know, she said that Becca started eating her food. So Becca wasn't upset. 
it was it was Becca's mom who caused this problem. Well, I would keep my eye out on that sister-in-law. It seems to me that she's ready for a problem. That she seems to be somebody who overreacts and she's trying to alienate your brother from the family or alienate him from you. Something's not right about this woman. So I would keep an eye open. If anything, I would probably send a card and a gift, a little gift to Becca to let her know that I, I love you. You are a part of our family. I hope by ordering this meal from the restaurant, I didn't upset you. But I would not apologize to Greg or Cheryl. Greg and Cheryl will get cussed the hell out every time I seen them until they came to their senses. Don't play with me. Anyway, peeps, get down in the comments and let me know what you think. And until next time, bye. Oh,